Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cinecool, and this is Gems of War. And today we have the World Event, the Faction Assault for Primal Rift, and four teams for ya. So three teams for the World Event, one team for the Faction Assault, but I also mentioned a couple others for the Faction Assault, and probably another one for the World Event. So actually, if you count all the teams I just talk about, it's probably more like seven or eight teams, but I only show four, so. Showing four teams. Here's the World Event. We have Rosebow, Ragnagord, Herdmaster, <clears throat> the, the World Breaker. Team from yesterday just switched up a little bit, I think. Uh, works fine. Works good, actually. Um, the Herdmaster can cleanse you if you get webbed. The Rosebow makes a bunch of yellow. Um, Ragnagord, 50% start. And the World Breaker's doing most of the damage because we have 160% spell damage. So, works really good. Uh, also, I want to shout out Lofty. Lofty told his guild about the channel, so I really appreciate that. That helps a lot. That's 29 other people that play the game that might want to watch the channel. So, uh, been asking you guys to tell your guild about the channel, and I really appreciate when you do. So, shout out to Lofty for doing that. A really good member of the community. Not a member, but a staple in the community. Subscriber. Long time commenter. Been here for a while. Really appreciate you, Lofty. Cheers, mate. Um, yeah, so I am just getting up World Breaker and shooting it off on, the, on this team. It's pretty uh, easy here. Um, there's like a kind of a weird scoring system with this with this uh, um, event this week. If you don't want to get all the way into it, just follow the rule of whatever uh, battle is the higher rarity. That's what I've mostly been doing, but... Uh, the Widow Queen is worth 4 Prophecies, which is 40 points. It's a random spawn. Arachnian Weaver is worth 20 Runes, which is 20 points. Uh, comes every 5th battle after fighting 4 of, of the lower rarities. Uh, Web Spinner is worth 16 Runes, which is 16 points. Malkindessa is worth 12 Runes, which is 12 points. Same with Tauray. Worth 12 runes, which is 12 points. And the worst one is Shadow Blade. 8 runes, 8 points. So try to avoid Shadow Blade if possible. If you have to choose between Tauray and Malkandessa, they're the same, so it doesn't matter. Web Spinner's worth 16. Arachnian Weaver's worth 20. And the Widow Queen is worth 40. So um, there is some discussion about how uh, if you skip the Arachnian Weaver or something, you can get more points somehow, but... I don't know. I would just go with, uh, if you see the Widow Queen, go after it. If you see the Racking Weaver, go after it. Web Spinner after that. Then, uh, just avoid Shadow Blade. That would be what I would say with this event. This is my main team. This is my high-level team. The World Breaker is a mythic, so I know not everyone has it. Uh, so, my high-level team here. I'm about to show a low-level team coming up very shortly. But yeah, blue, uh, then purple, then mythic, then legendary. So I think some people are saying legendary is higher uh, priority than mythic, which is kind of strange. Uh, trying to skim it while I... Racking Weaver only appears every fifth battle. It may be better to skip it in favor of a battle currently on the board since you will be doing those more often. Uh, and there's a whole discussion on the Gems of War forum. If you want to check it out, instead of me just reading it on video, it's called Centaur of the Universe is the name of the thread on the forum. So if you want to check that out, go check it out. It's about all the point uh, values and how you should play the event. But in my opinion, just follow the rarities if you don't want to get into all of that. Here's my super low-level team. Astral Spirit starts with full mana. It's a low rarity troop. Anyone should have it. The only hard part would be having three of them and also having them fully traded. But I think the stone is available right now, right? What was the stone that was available in the uh, glory shop? Um, It was... 
Never mind. I think uh, Queen Beatrix. It's I think it's green, uh, blue that's available right now. But I think this one was available last week, so you should have done this last week. So really no excuses. As long as you follow my advice each week, you should already have this thing fully traded. Uh, it starts with full mana. Any troop that is empowered, you should probably go ahead and get it fully traded. That way you can use them, especially like Leprechaun, uh, Greed, Astral Spirit, uh, Child of Summer, Taipan. There's a bunch of them. Mercy. Uh, those kind of troops you need to fully trade. To, or else they're not as good. Um, so, yeah. Make sure you get these kind of troops fully traded. Using three of them, they start... Uh, with full mana, so you can go ahead and kill three troops on the other side. Um, the strategy with this uh, team, though, is you want to pick colors that are not yellow or blue. That way, uh, when the uh, uh, explosion happens, or the uh, you shoot the bow, or whatever, there's more blue or yellow, which is what the rose bow makes. So, you remove all colors except for blue and yellow. And then it makes it a better chance for the Rosebow to hit when you cast it. And it creates blue and yellow. If you, so you got three casts of the Astral Spirit. Uh, you cast on all the colors. You know, the ones that have the most on the board that are not yellow or blue. It does true damage, so it's going to one-shot probably all the way as far as you want to go. You got three of them. You can kill three enemies on the other side. Then you can shoot the Rosebow. Uh after removing a bunch of colors that are not blue and yellow and then use the rose bow which does blue and yellow so that's what that team is about and it's low rarity the only thing is the rose bow and you can get it right now in the soul forge so i don't want to you know no excuses there it's pretty cheap as well here's a third team this this one's okay it's uh if you don't want to use the astral spirit or you don't have world breaker it's another choice also you could use atlanta uh, but Bull Taurus, I uh, went with for, uh, Firefly, um, Herdmaster, Bull Taurus, Bull Taurus. Uh, does scatter damage based on its life, I think. And there's two of them, so a lot of the time, especially early on, you're going to clear it out with one or two casts. And like I'm always saying, with these world events, the further we'd get in the week, the better these teams would be because of the metal. You're going to get more medals as you collect rewards with your guild. You'll get more tokens. You'll turn them into badges. You'll turn them into medals. And your team, these teams will be more powerful. If you can have three medals, like you're probably supposed to in these events, uh, they'd be way more powerful. You would have 160% spell damage times three. Uh, or at least two of them, I would say. Like I, I feel like these events, these teams, are are built for at least two medals uh, to work properly. But the Firefly weapon, you can also get that right now. Um, it creates, uh, what color? I think yellow and something based on um, Centaur allies. So we have Herdmaster, we have Bull Tauros. They're all Centaurs. I made my hero a oracle uh, that way it was also a centaur and um does green and yellow we don't use green but no big deal we're just looking for that yellow and the herd master can cleanse if you need a, a cleanse because they might be webbing you and whatnot there's some enemies that do web on the other side um i don't know it's probably the weaker of the three teams actually so but it's another option if you don't have astral spirit fully traded or you don't have the world breaker or you just don't like either one of those teams or something you know but it does work and it, it works fine and i think it would go all the way you could use it the whole time all the way and it would be fine so it's a third option if you want to try it um also you could use atlanta i think maybe not with firefly but uh probably probably with rosebow you could do an atlanta team same kind of way, like two or three Atlantas. Here is the Faction Assault. Doing Gob Truffle. You can also do Roan with Shield of Urskaya and Leprechaun. Um, I was trying it out, and I just I prefer I prefer King Gob Truffle over Roan. 
But you can do, use Rowan, Shield of Sky, a Leprechaun, and a fourth troop if you'd like. But I prefer King Gobtruffle. It just is more consistent, in my opinion. Uh, you gotta get that shield up like twice, or I don't know. With the Rowan team, the further you get, the more you have to cast the shield on Rowan. And I, I don't know, that's not the kind of gameplay I like. I don't like having to cast a weapon on a troop a couple times and then cast the troop. I prefer to try to loop or, you know, I think looping's more fun than buffing. But anyway, that's another option. Also, you could use Ketris the Bull. You could use Yasmin's Pride, Ketris, Ketris. Uh, Harpy Mage? I don't know about that one. Not Harpy Mage. Uh, probably Leprechaun. But yeah. Yasmin's Pride, Ketris, Ketris, Leprechaun would work good. Um, but those are basically your three choices there. You got King Gob Truffles, Rowan, Shield, Shield of Sky, Leprechaun, or Yasmin's Pride, Ketris, Ketris, Leprechaun. Those are your three best choices. Oh, also, uh, Triple Cunning Stone Slicer could work as well. Uh, so four good choices there. I don't know how many teams I mentioned in this video, but that's the whole point of this video, to give you options. But make sure you have your Cunnings fully traded. You could try the other Guardian as well, the Green Guardian, the, uh, the, I think it's Persistence? That would be okay. Anytime you can, I think Guardians will work almost any time. There's just some that are better than others. Ferocity's the best, or no, no, no. Finesse is the best, then Ferocity, and then it kind of goes downhill from there, but they're okay. They still work. Triple of the new Guardians, not the old Guardians, not Justice, Courage, Humanity, not those, but the newer ones, like Ferocity, Finesse, uh, Patience or whatever, Cunning, all those. Mostly, though, Ferocity and Finesse and Cunning. But yeah, that's what I got for you. There's a bunch of teams for you today. Four teams I showed and then a bunch of other ones I mentioned. Uh, I would recommend going with the World Breaker and King Gob Truffle, though. And if you don't have World Breaker, then the Astral Spirit. But please like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. And I'll see y'all tomorrow, probably for maybe a treasure hunt and Final Fantasy VII Remake. Peace.